here at the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco, California. And this is a great show to come and learn about some of the new innovations that's enabling the next generation of gameplay. So let's go check them out. One of the interesting things that's showing up at the show this year is 3D gaming. And 3D gaming's come a really long way and really just past the, the red and blue traditional glasses that we've seen for 3D gaming. But if you look at the screen behind me, this is a, a Sony Bravia that's 3D capable, and they're playing some games on it. And the screen looks a little blurry, which is traditionally what you'd expect. But one of the differences is the new glasses that they're using, which is just a simple, um, very passive glasses. It's not active, meaning that there aren't um, batteries in here driving the lenses to do the 3D. They're just simple passive glasses, but they're not the, the typical red and blue that you see before. And these are some of the minimum requirements with this from a uh, technology standpoint that the monitor is 3D capable and that you have these glasses, because all, all video games are 3D now anyway. So this is one of the interesting things that we're watching as 3D gaming becomes a much uh, more inclusive reality for the gaming world. So Nintendo just announced their new Nintendo DS that includes a little video camera inside of it that allows for some new creative applications for the way that people can play the DS in more immersive and Wii environments. One of the big new features is an in-unit in, in camera as displayed right here. And one of the things that is interesting about this is you can take pictures of yourself, the game developer could put you in the game, so you can take a snapshot of yourself, you can you know, caricature yourself, you can actually use games that sense you and you use your hand to swat, um, you, know, you move left and right to avoid objects. And so it's one of the cool things that they've added to make a little more immersive experience with the, Nintendo, the new Nintendo DS. There. One of the other interesting things here at the show as we continue to talk about these immersive gaming experiences is this company behind me called Natural Point with their tracker headset. And what that's enabling, enabling us to do is actually separate the head movement from the hand movement of the game. And so we'll show you a couple demos here and I think you'll be interested about the way game developers can use this technology both now and in the future. As we're continuing to talk about more immersive experiences in video games, one of the things that's being shown here is this new, um, this new seat or accessory for video games. Now the chair that I'm sitting in is a $11,000 chair, but this company, D-Box, actually has another chair that's more entry level at around the $3,000 price point. But this is just showing how games are becoming more immersive and how uh, creative companies from accessories and developers are looking to take advantage of more immersive experiences in games. So I'm going to get back to driving and, uh, and we'll see you in a little bit. This is showing. I should not operate a Formula One race car. 